The Unruly Zoo Escape Once upon a time, in the heart of the bustling city, there was an extraordinary zoo unlike any other. This zoo housed an array of mischievous animals who were known for their hilarious antics. People from all ages flocked to witness the spectacle and laugh themselves silly. In this whimsical zoo, there resided a cheeky elephant named Edward, a mischievous monkey named Marvin, a clumsy lion named Larry, and a snappy parrot named Polly. Each animal had its distinctive personality, which never failed to entertain visitors. One sunny day, as the zookeeper was trying to teach Edward some new tricks, Marvin decided it was the perfect time to prank his dear pachyderm friend. With nimble fingers. Marvin managed to snatch the training whistle from the zookeeper unnoticed. When the zookeeper commanded Edward to perform an impressive somersault, instead of obeying, Edward let out a loud trumpet from his trunk, startling everyone around. The visitors exploded with laughter. And the other animals started giggling too. Soon Larry, who always took himself far too seriously, couldn't resist joining in on the fun. He attempted his best impression of a synchronized gymnast, but ended up clumsily tumbling onto Polly's perch. Polly, undeterred by the unexpected visitor, quickly adapted and playfully imitated Larry's roars. Their jovial exchange turned into a raucous rendition of Who's the King of the Jungle Now? The crowd roared with laughter as Polly pretended to lead the pride while Larry perched awkwardly on an imaginary branch. Meanwhile, Marvin, pleased with his successful prank, continued to cause mayhem. He skillfully imitated the zookeeper's voice, ordering Edward to let the other animals free. The unsuspecting elephant lumbered over to the cages, releasing everyone one by one. Chaos ensued as the animals raced around the zoo, spreading laughter and joy. The kangaroos hopped from one enclosure to another, the flamingos waddled with exaggerated elegance, and even the turtles scurried faster than ever before. The visitors were enthralled, cheering and clapping along. Finally, in the midst of the uproar, the zookeeper caught sight of the impish monkey perched on a tall tree. With a knowing smile, he decided to go along with the merriment. He playfully whistled Edward's favorite tune, capturing Marvin's attention. Unable to resist, Marvin swung down from the tree and landed right into the zookeeper's awaiting arms. The visitors erupted with applause and laughter, relieved that the chaos had come to an end. The animals returned to their enclosures, exhausted but exhilarated. From that day forward, the story of the unruly zoo escape became legendary, etching smiles on the faces of all ages who visited the zoo. And so, the extraordinary zoo continued to thrive as the laughter of children, parents, and grandparents echoed through its lively grounds. Reminding everyone that a little mischief and plenty of laughter can brighten even the dullest of days. The Silly Sock Adventure Once upon a time, in the whimsical town of Socksville, there lived a charming pair of socks named Sam and Sally. They were no ordinary socks for they had colorful stripes and the ability to wiggle their toes with joy. Together, they embarked on a hilariously funny adventure that would bring laughter to all ages. On a bright sunny morning, as Sam and Sally were relaxing in their drawer, they overheard a conversation between the socks nearby. A sock named Kevin was telling an exciting tale about an abandoned laundry basket and the treasures it held. Eager for an adventure, Sam and Sally decided to explore. They hopped out of the drawer and onto the floor, rolling towards the laundry room. Along the way, they encountered various other socks, each with unique personalities. There was Bob, a sock with a constant case of the hiccups, and Molly, a shy sock who only peeked out from under the bed covers when the lights were off. Together, they formed the sock squad. With the guidance of Bob, the sock squad finally arrived at the laundry room. The abandoned laundry basket stood tall and mysterious, beckoning them with its untold secrets. Sam bravely went first, diving headfirst into the pile of laundry. Followed closely by Sally, Bob and Molly. The laundry pile turned out to be a wild ride. Sam found himself tumbling with mismatched socks, while Sally got entangled with a pair of long johns. 
Bob's hiccups intensified with every twist and turn, causing him to hop around uncontrollably. Molly, on the other hand, discovered her inner daredevil, performing acrobatic stunts over piles of towels. After countless tumbles, giggles, and even a close encounter with a feisty lint ball, the sock squad finally emerged from the laundry pile, covered in soapy bubbles and laughter. They had found no treasures, but realized that the true treasure was the unforgettable adventure they had shared. As Sam, Sally, Bob, and Molly returned to the drawer, their friends gathered around, eager to hear their tale. The socks listened in awe, chuckling at every twist and turn of the story. From that day forward, the town of Socksville was filled with joyous laughter, as everyone cherished the importance of friendship, fun, and embracing silly adventures. And so, the legend of the silly sock adventure lived on, bringing smiles and giggles to all who heard it, reminding them to always find the humor in life's little moments. The End The Misadventures of Uncle Fred Once upon a time in the quaint little town of Meadowbrook, there lived an eccentric man named Uncle Fred. He was known for his wild imagination, contagious laughter, and a perpetual twinkle in his eyes that seemed to hint at mischievous secrets. Uncle Fred could effortlessly capture the attention of anyone, regardless of their age, with his long, funny tales. One sunny afternoon, as children gathered around him in the park, Uncle Fred began weaving a story about a magical talking squirrel named Nutkin. He animatedly described Nutkin's hilarious escapades, from stealing acorns from grumpy old Mr. Johnson's garden, to disguising himself as a superhero, to fight off birds that threatened his tree. As Uncle Fred embellished the story with outrageous twists, the children laughed uproariously, hanging on to every word. The following day, Uncle Fred's misadventures took a comical turn when he decided to pursue his hidden passion for cooking. Armed with a ridiculous chef's hat and a mismatched apron, he ventured into the kitchen, ready to conquer the culinary world, or so he thought. As he clumsily eyed the ingredients, confusion set in. Uncle Fred mistook sugar for salt, baking powder for flour, and even added mustard to a cake instead of vanilla essence. When the cake finally emerged from the oven, it resembled a lumpy brown monstrosity. Nevertheless, Uncle Fred proudly declared it his latest masterpiece. Friends and family politely accepted a slice, trying their best to hide their horrified expressions. However, one brave soul couldn't contain his laughter, causing a chain reaction of uncontrollable giggles that quickly filled the room. Undeterred by his kitchen fiasco, Uncle Fred happened upon another opportunity for adventure. The local circus had arrived in Meadowbrook, and Uncle Fred, ever the daredevil, volunteered to be part of the show. The audience eagerly watched as he clumsily attempted to walk the tightrope, wobbling left and right. With each precarious step, gasps of anticipation mixed with gales of laughter echoed throughout the circus tent. As Uncle Fred's performance reached its grand finale, he got entangled in a juggling act, causing a cascade of balls to bounce unpredictably around the ring. He was chased by clowns, stumbled over his own feet, and even found himself momentarily trapped inside an oversized cannon. The entire circus erupted into applause at Uncle Fred's unintentional acrobatics, leaving him feeling like the true star of the show. Through his mishaps and adventures, Uncle Fred showed the importance of embracing imperfections, finding joy in laughter, and never taking oneself too seriously. His stories became a cherished tradition in Meadowbrook, bringing the community together and reminding everyone that life, no matter how unpredictable, is always better when shared with a little humor. And so, Uncle Fred continued to entertain, ensuring that his stories would be passed down from generation to generation forever preserving the memory of a man whose laughter touched the hearts of all ages in Meadowbrook.